Okay, so I'm first starting off with these two sky pictures and I'll be blending them together. And for the second picture that I've just brought in, I'm making sure that it's at the top of the layers. And I want to rotate it, so I'm going to the Transform Studio and I'm rotating it twice anti-clockwise. and I'm flipping it. Then I'm going to the plus sign and I'm adding a mask layer because I want to start blending that top picture into the one underneath. And then I'm going to the fill tool and I'm just dragging from the top down. The black point on the bottom will hide the picture and the white point at the top will show it. And I'm adjusting these points to get a good blend of the pictures. I'm going to the layer studio and I'm clicking on the bottom picture and I'm adding a fill layer. And then I'm going to the colour studio and I'm dragging the colour picker tool over to the dark part of the clouds to select that colour. And I'm changing the blend mode to soft light. And I'm dragging that fill layer on top of the bottom picture so it'll only affect that one. Now I need to get these pictures to match in colour. So I'm going to the adjustment studio and I'm scrolling down to the vibrance adjustment. And again, I'm making sure that's only affecting the bottom picture. I'm bringing down the saturation to minus 25. Then I'm scrolling back up to add a color balance adjustment. I'm starting off in the midtones range and I'm dragging the first slider to the left to minus 44 to add some cyan. And the last slider I'm dragging to the right to 11 to add some blue. The second slider I'm dragging to the right to 10 to add some green. Then I'm moving to the shadows range and the last slider I'm dragging to the right to 13 to add some blue. Then moving to the highlights range I'm dragging the first slider to minus 27. Then I'm adding a brightness and contrast adjustment and I'm dragging the brightness down to minus eight and the contrast to nine. I'm bringing in a picture of a moon and I want to cut the moon out from the background. So I'm moving to the selections persona. I'm clicking on the rectangular marquee tool. I'm clicking it again so the options come up and I'm using the elliptical marquee tool. Then to make the circle, I'm holding my finger on the screen and I'm dragging out. And to make it a perfect circle, I'm just pressing another finger to the screen. It can be quite hard to get the size right, so just get it as close to the right size as you can. It's better to have a circle that's a little bit smaller than the moon because if it's too big, you'll end up with a black outline around it, which you'll then have to remove. When I've done that, I'm going to the Layer Studio and I'm adding a mask layer which will remove the background. I'm pressing a finger to the screen and letting go so the options come up and I'm clicking deselect. Using the move tool, I'm dragging out the corners to make the moon bigger and I'm just positioning it. Then I want to blend that moon into the clouds, so I'm adding a mask layer. I'm going to the fill tool and I'm dragging down over the moon so a part of it hides behind these clouds. I'm going to the paintbrush tool with the colour on black and a low opacity and I'm removing a bit more of the moon.
and if I've overdone it in areas I can change the colour to white to bring back some of the moon. Then I want to blur the edges of the moon a little bit. So I'm clicking on the moon and I'm duplicating it. I'm clicking on the bottom layer and I'm going to the filter studio. I'm clicking on add live filters, which just means it'll add as a separate layer so you can go back and adjust it later. And I'm adding a Gaussian blur. And I'm bringing the radius up to 21.5. I need to go back to the layer studio to hide the top layer so I can see what I'm doing. Then on the top layer, I'm adding a mask layer. I'm using the pink brush with the colour on black and a low opacity. And I'm painting around the edges to remove that top layer and reveal the blurred one underneath. Next, I'm adding in this cliff. And I've gone to the Selections Persona and I'm using the Smart Selection Brush. It's on Add Mode, I have the Snap to Edges on and I'm using quite a small brush to paint over the cliff to select it. I'm adding a mask layer to remove the background and then deselect. Using the move tool I'm just positioning it in the corner. Then I'm adding a fill layer and I'm dragging that layer onto the cliff layer and I'm changing the blend mode to soft light. I want to make the cliff match the rest of the picture, so I'm going to add some adjustments. The first one I'm adding is a vibrant adjustment, and I'm bringing the saturation down to minus 27%. I'm adding a colour balance adjustment, And I'm in the midtones range and I'm bringing the first slider down to minus 53. The second to 20. And the third to 34. Then in the highlight range, I'm dragging the third slider to minus 20 to add some yellow. Next, I'm adding an exposure adjustment and I'm dragging that down. Then adding a mask layer to that exposure adjustment and using the paintbrush tool I'm going to paint some of it away because I want it to look like the light from the moon is hitting it. Then I'm adding a brightness and contrast adjustment. 
and I'm bringing the brightness up to 6 and the contrast up to 19. I want to change the colour of the moon slightly, so I'm adding a fill layer and I'm dragging that onto the moon and it should still be on the last colour that I selected and I'm changing the blend mode to screen. Now I want to give the moon a little bit of light, so I'm adding a pixel layer and in the colour studio with the colour picker tool I'm selecting a part of the moon and with a really big brush and the opacity on 100 I'm just tapping over the moon. I'm changing the blend mode to screen and I'm lowering the opacity to around 30%. I'm bringing in this picture of a man and I need to cut him out but I want to be a bit more accurate, so I'm using the pen tool. When I've done that, I'm clicking to selection and then I'm adding a mask layer, then deselect. I still need to remove this bit and I'm just going to the erase brush tool to paint that away. and I'm just positioning him using the move tool. I'm adding a fill layer and I'm dragging that onto the man. I'm keeping the blend mode on normal and I'm bringing the opacity down to around 35%. I'm adding a brightness and contrast adjustment and I want that to only affect the man. I'm bringing the brightness up to 10% and the contrast to 16. I'm adding a colour balance adjustment and in the mid-tones range I'm bringing the first slider down to minus 28. the second slider to 30 and the third to 10. I'm adding an exposure adjustment and I'm bringing the exposure down. And again I want to make it look like the light from the moon is hitting him so I'm adding a mask layer to the exposure adjustment and using the paintbrush tool I'm painting the exposure away from his right. Now I want to make a shadow for the man so I'm duplicating his layer. Then I'm going to the transform studio and I'm rotating it and I'm just aligning the feet. Then I'm going to the filter studio and I'm adding a perspective filter and I'm just dragging that out. I'm 
Then I'm adding a fill layer and I'm dragging that onto the shadow. And in the colour studio, I'm changing the colour to black. Then I'm clicking on the shadow layer. I'm going to the filter studio again and I'm adding a Gaussian blur. I'm bringing the radius up to around 3%. Then going back to the shadow layer, I'm bringing down the opacity to around 70%. Then I want to make the shadow a little bit darker by the feet. So I'm adding a pixel layer and I'm just painting near the feet. and I'm lowering the opacity to 60%. Then going back to the shadow layer again, I'm adding a mask layer to it and I'm using the paint brush tool to just remove a bit of the shadow near the head so it fades out a bit. Now I'm doing the final details of it and adjusting the whole picture. So I'm adding a curves adjustment and I'm bringing the shadows up and the highlights down and the midpoints down a little bit so I don't lose a lot of the contrast. Then moving to the red channel and bringing the top point down to add some cyan into the highlights and the bottom point to the right to add some cyan into the shadows. Moving to the blue channel and bringing the bottom point up to add some blue into the shadows. Then moving to the green channel and bringing the bottom point up a tiny bit to just add some green into the shadows. Next I want to add a bit of a vignette. So I'm adding a pixel layer and I'm using the colour picker tool to select the dark blue on the cliff. And I'm just painting around the edges of the picture. And I'm bringing the opacity down to around 50%. And the last thing I want to do is add a noise filter. So I'm going to the filter studio. Noise. I still have live filters on. And I'm clicking add noise. I'm dragging that to the top of the layers and I'm bringing the intensity up to 7%. 